Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to make a simple star rating component system within Adalo. Um, as far as the databases go, these are very simple. All we have is a user's collection and a trip collection. That trip could obviously be replaced with a store or whatever you want to do. Um, but we're going to be rating trips today. Under that trip collection, for the simplicity sake, all we have is a name of the trip, um, a star rating, so a number that you assign the trip, one, two, three stars and then it um, relates back to the user's database collection as well. So the most important screen is going to be this screen with the actual stars on them themselves. Um, we'll have 12 actual stars here if we're doing anywhere between one and three stars. Um, as you can see, it's very important that these stars are grouped in threes horizontally like this um, for visibility reasons, and we'll show more about that in a second. The alignment of the stars is also very important too. Um, they have to be aligned perfectly up and down and side to side. If they are not, um, things will start to act up a little bit and you'll have trouble um, actually getting those things all on the same page, which is not what we want, obviously. Uh, and then finally, the stars also need to be a uh, large enough distance apart. Otherwise, when you're actually in the app and trying to click on stars, um, you'll be overlapping between them and for example, if, these, if this one is too close to here and this one is too close to here, you won't be able to click on the middle star. You'll only be able to rate one star or three stars, and obviously we don't want that. Um, I think everybody probably has a good idea about this, but to add any sort of icon, all we do in here is go to Add Icon, click that, put that in there. Um, to change that to a star, just go there. Um, and we can copy and paste that over, Command-C, Command-V, pull it over. Then we can go ahead and change this one to a star that's unfilled as well. So in case anybody didn't know how to do that, that's how you can go ahead and add those stars in there like we want. Um, so back here, the reason we need these stars to be grouped like this is because we're going to be changing the visibility um, for when somebody is in the app to be able to see you know, the blank stars. You'll be able to see a one star rating, a two star rating, and a three star rating. Um, so for example, the, the zero stars will have it as um, conditional as sometimes visible. It'll be current trip, um, star rating. So when that user gives the current trip a star rating of zero or they don't fill it out, then that is what will show up in the screen is the blank stars. Um, as you can probably imagine, then the one star, you'll see the same thing with the conditional visibility. You'll see the current trip of the star rating is equal to one. So that one will show up on the screen and so on and so forth with two equal to two. And when they fill out the number property and it's three, you will see three stars appear on the screen. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but that is the reason why you need to group them together so that they can have that ability. Each star must also have its own action. Um, so we have an update trip action for each star. So for example, when you click on the star, um, it updates it to either one, two, or three stars. So all the ones in this column right here will need to be updated to when the star rating is one. So you can see that again, go to, whoops, go to click actions, current trip, star rating one. There you go, that's what's gonna be showing up on your screen. You can see that again here, star rating one. We can go down this list too. All these will be update trip current trip star rating two. And then you can see, you can see that again here, star rating two. And then this row, or sorry, this column will have it be where you go to update trip, current trip, star rating is equal to three. And that's what has, that's what causes the action for um, the stars to actually show up whether they're filled or unfilled on the screen. Um, once again, star rating is equal to three current trip. So that's how you get there. Um, once again, this is just a simple list, but and you can kind of make it however you want. Um, you can do, like I said, restaurants, schools, whatever you want it to be. Um, I just have it as a click action to where once you're clicking on one of the names of the trips, push action and it goes over, um, oh, sorry, that, that aligns with the current trip. And then it'll bring you to this page here where you can actually rate that current trip. So that's pretty straightforward as well. Um, and now I can give a little preview of how this works. 
So, I'll go in here. Log in. So, first we'll choose Park City. How was your trip? We'll say Park City was three stars. There you go, fill it out like that. We'll go back, we'll go to Vale. We'll say Vale was one star, or actually, you know what? Let's say Vale was two stars. We'll say Vale is two stars. There you have your two stars filled in. And then finally we have Aspen. We didn't really like Aspen that much. We're gonna give Aspen a two. Uh, actually, you know what, let's give it a one. So we gave Aspen a one star. Back home, so we filled all those out. Log out. Then you can go back into our database here. You can go to the trip records and you can see for me as the user, you can see that I filled out Park City as a three, Vale as a two, and Aspen as a one. So that is how you make a simple star rating component within Adalo. Um, thanks for watching and take it easy.